Welcome back to Tech Talks. So in the last episode, we talked briefly about why we want to use a natural tooth instead of an implant as an abutment for our restoration. As we know, proprioception, periodontal ligament, less expensive and maintaining bone. There's lots of reasons we want to maintain a tooth as an abutment as opposed to an implant. So if we're looking at something removable, what type of attachment should we use? First question comes into play, do we want it to be a cast post and coping or a direct placement attachment? Pros and cons, if we're looking at a direct placement, it's quicker, it's faster, it's more economical. The cons, you don't have full root coverage. A lot of the times, you're going to want to treat that exposed root structure with topical fluoride to keep it from getting brittle and fracturing. But with the direct placement post, you still have a higher incidence, a higher risk of fracture than you do with a laboratory custom cast post and coping. Now with the laboratory custom cast post and coping, it's going to take a little more restorative space it's probably gonna cost a little bit more because you're gonna be casting this in a higher noble alloy, you know, semi-precious or precious alloys. The benefit is you can place the attachment wherever you want. It gives you more restorative flexibility. It's gonna be a better long-term solution for the patient. And number three, you have less maintenance issues and less chance of that root becoming brittle and fracturing. So right off the bat, if we're taking a look at doing a direct placement, we have a Spiro post, which is a post with a spear on it, and it rotates up to 15 degrees. This is great if your patient has problems with alignment, with inserting and removing the prosthesis. You need about four millimeters of vertical space and about a four millimeter two structure to accommodate the 4.2 millimeter housing in the prosthesis. Now, if we're taking a look at a direct placement uh, cast, excuse me, a cast post and coping, and it's a weaker tooth, a smaller tooth, like a lateral or a weaker canine. This is a great application for an O-ring. The cast two O-ring attachment only requires 3.2 millimeters of space, can accommodate a tooth that's as small as 3.4 millimeters in diameter, and the diameter of the housing is only four millimeters. You would use an O-ring if it's a weak tooth. Once again, the O-ring has omniplanar movement, it rotates, it has vertical, it has horizontal, you're gonna protect the tooth more than any other attachment. Third option before a cast post and coping if the patient has a weak tooth or if the patient has extremely limited dexterity would be a magnet. Magnets don't require dexterity. They're easy to the patient to seat, to remove, and they don't put any lateral forces on your abutment tooth. Fourth option would be kind of the old school Dalabona attachment, the old ball. Now this is great if you don't have a lot of restorative space, 2.25 ball, 3.4 millimeters of vertical, the housing is 3.8 millimeters, and again, you're gonna get that ball and socket movement as well as the resilient function, you get an audible click, nice, simple way to restore the case for the patient. So these are kind of some of the four solutions you can go forward and take a look at. On the next Tech Talk, we'll talk about the two most popular ones today. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us today for the latest edition of Tech Talks by Preed Removable Attachment Options. Interested in learning more about the products you see in here today? Visit us on the web at preet.com. Have a question you'd like to submit? Email us at techtalks at preet.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-A-L-K-S at preet.com.